good evening. Please rise for the presentation of colors, followed by a national anthem. Gentlemen, please remove your hats. Please remain standing until the color guard exits the hall. By the dawn's early light, what so proudly we held at the twilight's last gleaming, whose bright stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight and the repas we watched were so gallantly streaming. And the rockets regular, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free. Thank you. You may be seated. Good evening, parents, guardians, family, faculty, platform guests, and the graduating class of 2017. Welcome to our 50th commencement ceremony. Today is a great day. Our graduates are closing a chapter in their lives and beginning anew. They have accomplished many things throughout this journey. They deserve to enjoy every moment of this commencement. To the parents and guardians, we know you've been anticipating this moment for what seems like an eternity. Thank you for entrusting your child's education to us. We appreciate your support and cooperation over the past four years. Job well done to each of you for helping your child stay the course in reaching this milestone. And again, good evening. I'm Ms. Green, the proud principal of George Wilf High School. introduction of our stage participants. It's a great pleasure that I present our stage participants. I ask that you hold your applause until each section has been introduced. Each stage participant is asked to stand as his or her name is called and to remain standing until the entire section has been introduced. Seated on the second row to my far right, Dr. Michelle Boyd, Assistant Superintendent of Exceptional Education and Student Services. Mr. Abe Jeffers, Assistant Superintendent of Schools. Mr. T. David Myers, Chief Financial Officer. Mr. Thomas Kranz, Chief Operating Officer. Please recognize the section at this time. 
thank you. You may be seated. Seated on the, my first row to my far right, we have Dr. Anthony Leonard, Assistant Superintendent of Schools, Dr. Andrea Kane, Associate Superintendent of Academic Services, the Honorable Linda Owen, NAF District Representative to our school board, the Honorable Patrick Sapini, 5th District Representative and Vice Chairman of our school board, the Honorable Don Page, 8th District Representative and Chairman of our school board, and Dr. Dana Baden, Superintendent of Richmond City Public Schools. Please recognize this section. Thank you, you may be seated. Seated on the third row to my far left, we have Ms. Sheila Spanchain, Senior Class Sponsor, Ms. Charlene Williams, Career Technology Education Department Head, Mr. William Johnson, Fine Arts and World Language Department Head, Colonel Brickhouse, Military Department Head, Mr. Marvin Gilliam, Choir Director, and Mr. Nathaniel Boyd, Band Director. Please recognize this section at this time. Thank you, you may be seated. On the second, seated to, on the second row to my far left, we have Ms. Lisa Coles, Senior School Counselor, Ms. Rebecca Wooden, Senior School Counselor, Ms. Rita Richardson, School Counselor, Department Head, Ms. Libby Germer, School Counselor, I mean, I'm sorry, Ms. Libby Germer is the History Department Head, Ms. Felicia Artis, Math Department Head, Ms. Renee Gouboard, Science Department Head, Mrs. Joy Moore, Exceptional Education Department Head, and Ms. Angela Moore, English Department Head and Senior Class Sponsor. Thank you, you may be seated. Seated on the first row to my far left, we have Masaka Fofana, Senior Class President, Jave Shaw, Salutatorian, Mr. Jordan Coden, Valedictorian, Mr. Harold Hackney, Assistant Principal, Mr. Derek Mason, Assistant Principal, Ms. Anita Harper, please recognize the section at this time. Thank you, you may be seated. Our organist for today's program is Ms. Diane Briggs-Bacon. Please give her a round of applause. In the audience flanking our candidates for graduation are members of the faculty and staff of George Wolf High School. These dedicated professionals have worked tirelessly to help our students reach this point in their lives. I ask that they stand at this time to be recognized. Thank you, you may be seated. And now, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to introduce you to the George Wolf High School Class of 2017. Graduates. for coming this evening and sharing this 2017 commencement ceremony. Ladies and gentlemen, immediately following greetings from the school board, the program will proceed as printed. Good evening. Good evening, class of 2017 of George Wolf High School. On behalf of the Richmond City School Board, I bring you greetings. To our parents and family members, thank you. Thank you for all of your support. I would like to leave this message with you. As you prepare to start a new chapter of your life being college and career ready, remember to surround yourself with the dreamers and the doers the thinkers and the believers. But most of all, surround yourself with those who see greatness in you, even when you don't see it in yourself. To the class of 2017, we see greatness in you. Again, best of luck and congratulations. Good evening, distinguished guests, parents, teachers, staff, administrators, 
and most importantly, the astounding class of 2017. My name is Masaki Fafana, your phenomenal class president. As the George Smith class of 2017, we face and overcome the obstacles of the inner city, and we shall all be extremely proud of that. We are the astounding roses that grow from the concrete, and we all have the ability of being more than we are perceived to be, considering we are George Wiff, excellent in every way, every day. For most of us, I know high school, especially senior year, has been one of the most challenging times of our lives. However, we truly couldn't have accomplished success without the adults that were the highlights of our long and stressful days. Along our journey, we've been blessed with individuals that have brightened up our days with the smallest remarks, positive and upbeat attitudes. We will never forget you, loud Mr. Mason, with your random humorous quotes of inspiration. Mr. Fung, with your weird obsession with the color pink in Hannah Montana, as well as Disney princesses. Ms. Germer, with your always upbeat and positive attitude. Mr. Brower, and also Ms. Green, just to name a few. Thank you for working out of the kindness of your hearts instead of the expectation of compensation. To conclude, I would like everyone to remember to always aim high and never settle for less. Uh, it's a blessed every day, people getting killed. All I wanna see is smiles and have a happy year. Come my blessing, ain't no stressing, y'all know I ain't flexing. I'ma be the one you lean on while you depressing. I'ma tell you how it is, I know it isn't right. People out left and right like a flashing light. Stop the tears, stop the tears, it's gonna be alright. Stick together, move together, it's gonna get better. Hey people, hey people, we can hate each other. All these moves in this world, we gotta build each other. Stay alive, stand proud, don't never die each other. To all my brothers and sisters, we can change the world. Young people, old people, this is our world. Make it better for the young ones that's going up. Show love, show love, I'ma show love. The big eye in the sky, yeah, he watching us. Put your hands together, we gon' stand together. Don't be down, never frown, this is windy weather. Uh, I'ma show y'all the way. All these bad things and bad things, we throw all away. Uh. People killing, people dying, children hurting, hear them crying. Would you practice what you preach, or would you turn the other cheek? Father, follow, follow, help us. God is from above. Along. We're supposed to be a unity for you to see a future that can end all of this cruelty. People end their lives flatlined at a tangent. Bad reasons why, but I just don't understand it. Black on black crimes getting killed empty handed. Family members crying because they heart got branded. Standing in the line making moves on commandment. But some are loose links, they break down because they can't stand it. It's a hard knock life, but ain't no knocking at all. Nowadays it's just a thump, then your door finna fall. Kids doing it for fun, they don't know what is wrong. And who is to blame if we not getting along? Penitentiary is killing me, you hear me speak the facts. They scaring me, not fearing me, so can we please relax? The parents are not parents and we need to be on track. I thought that we were rolling in communities, not packs. To myself, I didn't come to the chaos. We already got our hands up. You could thank cops. How we supposed to live a large amounts of confusion? Enough with the silence. We need revolution. Looking at my homies, pray to God that they make it. I know they on the streets, so I gotta keep praying. Find me on the ground with the pistol to my dome piece. No explanation, and I know they'll know me. Grandma worried, and my mom stay stressing. Everything a blessing, everything's a lesson. Every time I turn around, people getting killed. I don't know what's going on. Tell me what's the will. They think they think they 
and everything's right We thinking everything will go right, but it don't flight And now we jumping from the side to the side lantern Everything we do, we always do it for a matter Black lives matter, we do it for each other Everything we do for our sisters and our brothers Gotta love our grandmas and we gotta love our mothers Fathers everywhere, we gotta love each other Good evening. I am, good evening, I am Rebecca Wooden, one of the school counselors for George Wythe High School. It is indeed my honor to present the top 10 students of George Wythe High School for the 2017 year. As I call each student's name, I will ask if you would stand at your seats in order to be recognized at this time. I will begin with the number 10 student in the class and end with the number one student. Number 10 in the class, Essence James. Essence has a 3.33 GPA and has been accepted at Virginia Commonwealth University Old Dominion University, Radford University, Longwood University, Norfolk State University, Virginia State University, Virginia Union University, and Shaw University. She has earned a total of $272,324, and she will attend Old Dominion University in the fall. Number nine in the class, Luis Gonzalez Perez. Luis has a 3.35 GPA and he has decided to enter the workforce upon graduation. Number eight in the class, Octavia Smith. Octavia has a 3.39 GPA and has been accepted at Tuskegee University and Richard Bland University. She has earned a total of $49,360 in scholarships and awards and will attend Richard Bland College in the fall. Number seven in the class, Trivian Hardy. Trivian has a 3.44 GPA and has been accepted at George Mason University, Norfolk State University, Virginia Tech University, University of North Carolina, Pembroke, North Carolina Central University, and has earned a total of $232,440 in scholarships and awards. He will attend George Mason University in the fall. Number six in the class, Tyreek Burchett. Tyreek has a 3.461 GPA and has been accepted at J. Sargent Reynolds Community College and Virginia Union University. He has earned $89,360 in scholarships and awards. 
Tyreek will attend J. Sergeant Reynolds Community College in the fall. Number five in the class, Tyasia Friend. Tyasia has a 3.465 GPA and has been accepted at the University of Mary Washington, Norfolk State University, Virginia State University, James Madison University, Mount St. Mary's University, John Tyler Community College of Virginia, Union University, Morgan State University, George Mason University, and Mary Washington University. She has earned a total of $374,200 and will attend Norfolk State University in the fall. Number four in the class, Maquasia West. Maquasia has a 3.78 GPA and has been accepted at Norfolk State University, Pfeiffer University, Virginia Union University, West Virginia State University, has a total of $170,720, $170, in scholarships and awards, and will attend Norfolk State University in the fall. Number three in the class, Alexis Good. Alexis has a 3.86 GPA and has been accepted at Virginia Union University, Norfolk State University, Virginia State University, Elizabeth City State University, Old Dominion University, and the University of Mary Washington. She has earned a total of $112,000 in scholarships and awards and will attend Virginia State University in the fall. We're almost there. Number two in the class, Javi Shaw. Javi has a 4.03 GPA and has been accepted at Bluefield College, Bowie State University, James Madison University, Lynchburg College, Morgan State University, St. Vincent College, and Virginia Commonwealth University. He has earned a total of $331,600 and will attend Virginia Commonwealth University in the fall. Number one in the class, drum roll. <laughs> Number one in the class, Jordan Colden. Jordan has a 4.23 GPA and has been accepted at Alabama A&M University, Hampton University, Hampton Sydney College, Elizabeth City State University, Norfolk State University, Virginia Union University, Morehouse College, West Virginia State University, Shaw University, and North Carolina Central University. He has earned a total of $274,800 and will attend Morehouse College in the fall. Please join me in giving these students a round of applause. Thank you, you may be seated. Also want to, also want to note the total of scholarships and awards for the class of 2017, grand total of $5,848,500. Thank you. Good evening, fellow classmates, parents, distinguished guests. You get it. My name, for those who don't know me, is Jarvie Shaw. My story began at Georgia High School on September 3rd, 2013. This date holds a special place in my heart because it made me realize who I was as a person. When I first got here, I didn't talk to anyone because I didn't want to become pushy and or needy. Sometimes people were wondering, why this guy will always have his head towards the floor? To some people, first impressions matter, and I didn't want to make the bad first impression. At the beginning of my freshman year, I became this socially awkward person who only spoke to people who knew my name. At lunch, I would be sitting by myself and wondering what could have been. I thought this would be my, thought how my freshman year was always going to be like. One day, my 
Algebra 1 teacher gave an assignment that had to be done on that day. While some of the students were struggling trying to get it done, I managed to get it done before the bell rang to go to the next class. My classmates were astonished at how fast I got it done. After that, some of my classmates started to introduce themselves to me and we became friends. This also became a pattern for all of my other classes as well. All right. My fellow classmates, there are two choices that we can take. Do we take the one less traveled by or do we go down the road that everyone else has gone down? There is, however, a third option and only you can take it. This world is the one that only you can travel and you must face the consequences and make the decisions whether it's good or bad. When you reach the end of the world, ask yourself this, do I have the power to create a new path or do I consider this my stopping point? George Wythe, class 2017, I ask you, are we ready to make excuses? Are we ready to make choices? Thank you. Good evening. Good evening. I would like to welcome the parents, classmates, staff of George Wythe, and distinguished guests. Congratulations, class of 2017. We're here to celebrate not just the graduation, but a day of moving forward to the next level in our lives. Many people believe that graduation is an endpoint in life, yet I believe it is a starting point to where we are to transition to college, military, or straight into a career. Coming in as freshmen, we were young teens looking for a place to fit in this large building. We were eager to see old, faith, old friends and meet new faces. For some of us, this transition was our most troubling time, but we held on. Fast forwarding, by our sophomore year, most of us had the flow of things. Therefore, some of us struggled as freshmen, but year two was a period of growth for many of us. We became more involved in school activities, whether it was athletics, musical groups, or academic or social clubs. As we moved into our junior year, this was known as you know me and stop playing year. We kept the momentum we had from sophomore year as we strived to become better. As soon as we knew it, senior year was rolling around the corner. Now I understand the idiom, how time flies. Subsequently, this year for some of us was a breeze. Consequently, we were under the impression that senior year was easy, not realizing the battle of senioritis and the stress that comes along with it. But looking at these faces in the audience, we can say we made it. The last four years flew by so fast. Let's recap. For some, this was the year of early release and a schedule full of electives. And for others, you may have needed your last math or science SOL or even physics. On top of all these things, we had to apply to colleges, complete the FAFSA, and continuously apply for scholarships. As we look back, we see we have come, overcome a lot, from fights to lunch on commands and even blackouts. That was the past, and we've made it to this checkpoint of life. In conclusion, over the past four years, we've developed the skill of networking. This is a skill we should all hold on to. We have students who are going all over this nation. I want you to look at your neighbor, because hopefully this won't be the last time you see their face. The person next to you could be your doctor, upcoming musical artist, or the person to get you a job offer. The person that you are always debating with in class could be the lawyer you need when you get a ticket. In this room are future leaders of our cities and schools, future entrepreneurs, along with men and women who will soon be fighting for our nation. I encourage, encourage all of you to stay connected because relationships built in a high school last a lifetime. Thank you.
write it down a thousand times Four little words makes you cry How I feel I can't decide No, I don't know, so I'll improvise Is it living in my heart or in my Dr. Bedden, honorable members of the school board, platform guests, parents, guardians, and all who have assembled here this evening. We are at the portion in the program that we have been patiently waiting for. I dare not stand between issuing the diplomas to the class of 2017, but I must have a moment to express my sincere appreciation to the parents and guardians of the class of 2017. On behalf of the administration, staff of George Rip High School, we thank you for allowing us the opportunity to impart knowledge on to your child. We thank you for entrusting your child to us as our staff to provide these young people with the appropriate and necessary skills needed to be successful in the 21st century. Class of 2017, always remember that you are ready, willing, and more than able to grasp the torch that we bestow upon you today. 
May your years ahead continue to be characterized by empathy, compassion, objectivity, and a willingness to take risks. Always lead by example, work hard, and never give up on your dream. Make your success, may your successes be many and your tribulations be few and far between. We wish you everything that you so richly deserve ahead in the years, and it has been an honor and a privilege watching your progress and your success. And always remember, we are George with excellence in every way. No excuses, only choices. Dr. Bedden, would you please join me? As principal of George Wolf High School, I certify that the George Wolf High School class of 2017 has met the requirements for graduation as prescribed by the State Board of Education of the Commonwealth of Virginia and the School Board of the City of Richmond. Class of 2017 and guests, good evening. On behalf of the Richmond Public Schools Administration, we extend you congratulations and good luck in the future. To the Board of Education members that are joining us this evening, by the power vested in me by the Commonwealth of Virginia, the Virginia Department of Education, as the Division Superintendent for Richmond Public Schools, based on information presented to me by the Principal at George With High School, I present to you as prepared to receive their diplomas and have they met all the requirements of both, both the Commonwealth of Virginia, Virginia Department of Education, and also the Richmond Public Schools, these candidates prepared for graduation. Karan Abernathy. Kervande Adam Atkins. Tyee Allen. Jamilia Al Malik. Brianna Battle. Marvin Battle, Maquisha Battle, Ravon Bathia, Joshua Blackman, Malaysia Booker. D'Amico Bowes, Brandon Branch, William Branch, Angel Brewer, Antonisha Brown, Your Jasmine Brown. Thank you. Tariq Burchett. Kalia. Kalia Burton. Mia Kane. Alejandro Cantu. Tobias Cash, Shatira Clark, Julius Cole, Zayara Cole. Are you now? Win. 
Dana Collin. Where you going? Okay, go ahead. Jordan Colden. Jonathan Cruz. Alyssa Brown. Jaquasia Braxton. Grace Bullock Cofield. Jermaine Davis. Maja Davis. Nakia Davis. Taniqua Davis. Oscar Aranda. Destiny Dozier. DeAndre Dublin. Chelsea Eggleston. Kevon Edmonds. Rayshawn Elmore. Carmen Escobar Flores. Alfredo Esquire. Ryan Fisher. Jaysha Fitzgerald. Makaya Fox. Masaki Fofana. David Ford. Shamik Francois. Taeja Friend. Janai Gilliam. Luis Gonzalez Perez. Alexis Goo. Kiara Grandison. Jamai Grant. Lamaya Gray. Katamala Green. Joseph Gidry. Aquarius Fields. Raekwon Fields. Jesus Lopez Ramirez. Ramel Green. Kalia Gustus. Trivian Hardy. Chris Harris. Raekwon Harris. Candace Henderson. Janae Herring. Jovan Herring. Fernando Hicks. Devontae Hill. Tyler Hoffler. Essence James. Ahmad Jeffers. Latrell Johnson.
Nadeja Johnson. Sean Johnson. Chauncey Jones. Malia Jones. Nadeja Jones. Savion Jones, Alexis Kearney, Tyendia Kelly, Jean Lee, Jawan Little, Davon Holmes. Lexis Honeycutt, Destiny Jackson, Marcia Jackson, Tiara May, Amir Moore. Tashawn Morris, Ramel Pamplin, Keontae Perm, Tyrone Patterson, Zaki Thomas. Asiana Thompson Jackson, Vivian McKinney, Jaquel McClure, Jomana McCullough. Leonte May, Stanasia Manning, Zion Martin, Marquan Martin, Damon Martin. Damien Maple. DeAndre Maddox. Let me know when you're going. Antoinette Macklin. Jermon Lofton. Eric. Luisa Garcia, Brianna Thompson, Deshaun Thompson, Tiandra Thornton, Afi Masan. Kyrie Miller. Alexis Thornton Foreman. Kashayla Timms. Jasmine Tyler. Wait, let me know. Faye Thatcher, Jarvey Shaw, Raymond Taylor, Marquise Taylor, 
Dean Stewart. Sunshine Stevens. Dylan Stalt. Denise Squire. Tawana Smiley. Sierra Singleton. Tyel Sinius, Daquan Simmons, Carlos Scruggs, Hadia Samuels, Robert Rudd. Yvonne Smith. Eric Ross. St Stephen Meredith. Maria Mercenaro. Samuel Mercenaro Kanu. Anthony McWilliams Jr. Paula Randolph. Sarande Red. Alexis Rich. Jonay Robinson. Marbella Rojas, Ashley White, Marquesia West, Amber Walker, Christian Urbina. Luis Solano Diaz, Shakori Smith, Octavia Smith, Carrie Smith, Daniel Spellman. Shekinah Spears. <laughs> J.K. Sowell. Sierra Williams. Miguel Alvarez. Jamisha Bankston Burke. Camille Brockington. Iman Burley. Ajeta Winston. Sean Winstead. Kayla Williams. Kanisha Williams, Harvey Williams, Donald Winston, Jason Winston, Tardasia Penn. Patisha Perkins. Alantia Phillips. 
German Ramirez. Breland Poo. Ayana Workman. School class of 2017, please move your tassel from the right to the left at this time, indicating the transition from student to graduate. Congratulations to our graduates.